Hello, I'm Mark Mitchell, Chief of Staff of the Georgia Department of Juvenile Justice. I want to welcome you to the DJJ Monthly Update. Recently, the United States Department of Agriculture awarded DJJ a $20,000 Farm to School grant to develop a strategic action plan for implementing sustainable school gardens at our secure facilities. With the opportunities provided by the US, USDA grant, DJJ will strive to supplement purchased produce with facility-grown produce, showing good stewardship of state funds through our commitment to budget consciousness and sustainability. The USDA grant follows DJJ's second honorary Golden Radish Award for our Farm to School efforts. Our most notable Farm to School program achievements during the 2018-2019 school year included offering locally grown items on the school menu, having edible gardens at facilities, and adopting Farm to School language into the wellness policy. DJJ has also commemorated National Farm to School Month by participating in the Big Crunch. Youth and staff statewide bit into an apple on October 30th at 2.50 p.m. to demonstrate our support for offering locally grown food. The apples were provided by our food vendor, Mercier Orchards. I hope you had the opportunity to participate. On October 25th, students from the Muskogee Education Transition Center and DJJ staff partnered with the Columbus Parks and Recreation Therapeutic Division for Fishing with a Friend program at Lake Oliver Marina in Columbus, Georgia. The goal of the program is to foster positive relationships between youth and individuals with disabilities while also providing an opportunity to strengthen their social, and communication skills. Many of the therapeutic participants also participated in the Special Olympic Games. Here at DJJ, there is a zero tolerance policy against bullying. To extend our anti-bullying efforts beyond the DJJ facilities, we partnered in a bullying and prevention workshop and rally held at a local church in East Point, Georgia on October 19th. DJJ staff provided information on, way on ways to prevent bullying in schools, monitoring social media for bullying, and the impacts of bullying on mental health. Thank you so much to the Office of Volunteer and Victim Services for coordinating DJJ's participation in this informative event. On October 8th, Commissioner Tyrone Oliver hosted his first Youth Council meeting. Youth from RYDCs and YDCs across the state came together to engage the DJJ, DJJ leadership team and ask important questions regarding their facilities. The guest speaker for the meeting was Dr. Rashad Ritchie from radio station WAOK here in Atlanta. Dr. Ritchie shared his truly inspirational journey to success after being in the juvenile just, justice system himself. Special thank you to Dr. Ritchie for taking time to encourage our youth and even our leadership team. Finally, every November the 11th here at DJJ, we are proud to recognize our employees who have served in the United States Armed Forces. Veterans Day remains a time to celebrate and honor America's veterans for their patriotism, love of country, and willingness to serve and sacrifice for the common good. We are extremely fortunate to work amongst many veterans that have now dedicated their lives to serving the youth in our care. We are forever grateful and thank you so much for your service. I just want to um, a message that I have here the last couple of months that I've been here at the uh, Department of Juvenile Justice. Uh, we have an awesome staff. We have a dedicated team across this state that I've met through uh, several journeys to facilities um, and other uh, personal uh, professional development conferences to meet uh, and greet and speak to everyone uh, about the changing culture that uh, the commissioner and uh, that we want here, that we all want. And I, when I say we, I'm not just talking about the executive team, I'm not talking about me or just the commissioner, but when I say we, us together across this state who serve at this awesome organization, um, <clears throat> that's what we want here uh, is, a, is a change in culture. Uh, we're coming from um, some, some times where we all need healing at this organization and together we can do that. And uh, that's through just fostering a, an environment of success environment of career development, environment of, of recognition uh, for our employees who do an awesome job, a great job every single day, um, and, and, and be there, and leadership be there in a serving, have a serving mindset and mentality and an attitude for you 
um, again, who serve at this organization. Uh, I look forward to being able to come to you with, uh, through more videos, and the commissioner and I um, and staff look forward to coming around our great state to meet you. And again, thank you for your service. Thank you for what you do and uh, for everything for this uh, great organization. You can find more information about DJJ and stay up to date on DJJ News by visiting our website at djj.georgia.gov and by following us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at GeorgiaDJJ. Thank you.